हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मिसेस पवित्रा अशोक वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश क्लास वी ऑल नो दैट डॉग्स आर ह्यूमन्स बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन विल अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोस डॉग फाइंस इज मास्टर प्लीज ओपन योर टेक्स्ट बुक स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज लुक एट प्री रीडिंग टास्क first one tell me the names of some pet animals and some domestic animals in this picture you can see some of the pet and domestic animals such as cat dog rabbit horse cow goat parrot etc second one which animal can be tamed and used to do heavy work students can you answer this yes elephant donkey horse camel etc are used to do heavy work third one which animal is known as man's best friend why students i hope you can answer this exactly the dog is known as the man's best friend because of its loyalty it's a loyal servant of the man Dear students now please look at first two paragraphs I am going to read it please follow as i read Foxes hunt alone never in packs once dogs too were their own masters and lived the way foxes did they lived in freedom until a dog was born who was not pleased with this way of life he was sick and tired of wandering about by himself looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than him he thought for a while and decided that the best thing for him to do was to become the servant of one who was stronger than anyone on earth he set out to find such a master here pack means group of wild animals that hunt together wander means walk or move in a leisurely or aimless way moving on to the explanation once upon a time the dogs were their own masters they used to hunt alone like foxes they lived in freedom until a dog was born who was not pleased with this way of life the dog felt that the need for a master because he was tired of wandering about alone looking for food and getting frightened by those who were stronger than him therefore he decided to serve someone to be a servant of someone who was stronger than anyone on earth he started searching for such a master students Now please look at paragraphs 3 to 6. He walked and walked and he met a kinsman of his, a big wolf who was as strong as himself. He was fierce. "Where are you going, friend?" the wolf asked. "I am looking for someone to take me up as a servant. Would you like to be my master wolf?" the dog said. "Why not?" the wolf said and this agreed upon the two of them went on together they walked and walked and all of a sudden the wolf lifted his nose sniffed darted quickly off the path into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest the dog was very much surprised please look at meanings of new words kinsman a relative fierce angry violent and cruel sniffed draw up air audibly through the nose to detect a smell darted move or run somewhere suddenly or rapidly moving on to the explanation when the dog was searching for a master he met a wolf 
he asked the wolf if he would become the dog's master. The wolf readily agreed. As they were walking along the forest path, all of a sudden, the wolf lifted his nose, sniffed, ran quickly off the path and hid among the bushes deep inside the forest. The dog was very much surprised to see this behavior of wolf. Dear students, in this session, we have completed first part of the prose, Dog Finds His Master. This is the story of a dog who used to be his own master. He decided to find a master who was stronger than anyone else. First, he found a wolf. So, the wolf was the first master of the dog. Dear students, I will continue the second part in the next session. Now, I am going to end up this session. Bye for now. Thank you. Have a nice day.